for Robert Zuniga. Please rise. God is good and all the time. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate Pentecost, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting.
Lord God and the King of God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only the God and Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand. the Holy One, You alone are the Lord, You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who will that the Paschal mystery to be encompassed as a sign in 50 days? Grant that from out of the scattered nations, the confusion of many tongues may be gathered by heavenly grace into one great confession of your name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Thus says the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Even upon the servants and the handmaids, in those days I will pour out my spirit. And I will work wonders in the heavens and on earth blood, fire, and columns of smoke. The sun will be turned to, dark, to darkness and the moon to blood at the coming of the day of the Lord, the great and terrible day. Then everyone shall be rescued who calls on the name of the Lord. For on Mount Zion there shall be a remnant as the Lord has said, and in Jerusalem survivors whom the Lord shall call. The word of the Lord. Our response to the Lord's word is, Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Take away their breath, they perish and 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption and the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees is now hope that sees is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit too comes to, our, to the aid of our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Please remain seated for the singing of the sequence. Holy Spirit, fill the 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory On the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood up and exclaimed, Let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. As scripture says, rivers of living water will flow from within him who believes in me. He said this in reference to the spirit that those who came to believe in him were to receive. There was, of course, no spirit yet because Jesus had not yet been glorified. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't know who brought the flowers, but thank you. Aren't they nice? I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions, even upon the servants and the handmaids who have nothing to say. In those days, I will, re I will pour out my spirit even on them. Then everyone shall be rescued who calls upon the name of the Lord. For on Mount Zion there should be a remnant in Jerusalem there will be survivors whom the Lord shall call. I have a story to share with you. Today an elderly couple both doctors are living in a small town in the Sichuan province of China. When they were young, they studied together at the same medical school. They fell in love and got married. She was a Catholic. He was not. She wanted him to join the church, but he, he did not want to get baptized. Soon they had a baby son. Then the cultural revolution of Mao Zedong happened and the husband, together with many other men in the town, was arrested and sent to a labor camp. Hundreds of women lost their husbands and hundreds of families broke up. The women were not even allowed to write to them. The separation was very hard on the wife. She had to work long hours at the hospital during the day and then care for her son at night. Along with her loneliness, she was under constant pressure from the government to divorce her husband and renounce her religion for financial benefits. She simply refused. Every night, she and her son prayed to God for strength to endure. Twelve years later, she heard one day that all the men were to be released from hard labor and allowed to come home. So she went anxiously with her son to meet the train, wondering how much her husband would have changed 
after his long 12 years in the prison camp. They arrived early at the station and sat down on the empty platform to wait. Time passed and she began to think she must have mixed up the day or the time because the entire railway station was empty even though the train was due very shortly. Then all of a sudden she heard its unmistakable sound as it drew closer and closer. But she and her son were still alone on the platform. The moment it stopped, doors started to open all along the track. She felt her mind racing and her heart beating within her. Hundreds of men left the train, looking tired, weary, and broken. Only one of them found what found the one he was looking for. The others had come back to a place that was no longer home. The wife later discovered that the other men had been divorced, abandoned, and forgotten by their wives and children. She alone had kept the word she had given years before her promise to be true and faithful no matter what. Her husband said later that at the moment he embraced her and their son, he just knew he had to become a Christian. The passage from Joel is about Uh, and ends with this uh, promise that God will call a remnant. And uh, my first understanding of uh, remnant was uh, a, a piece of cloth that's very likely not big enough to uh, make a shirt out of, but it's still good cloth if you can make something small, a remnant, not worth much. But that's what God calls. God calls us. Uh, we, We wish we were more. We wish that there were more of us here. We wish that the message of the gospel could give hope to everyone. How did she have what it took to do what she did? Well, now I'd like to take you a little step ahead to the Eucharistic prayer that uh, we will use today, I hope. (laughs) These are the parts of the prayer calling on the power of the Holy Spirit for the consecration of the bread and wine, for the consecration of the people by our participation in the sacrament. This is what we will hear. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously Make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. And then after the words of consecration, we call God to look upon the offering his own beloved son. 
look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognize here the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. This woman and her son prayed to God for strength to endure. And while her husband was suffering, all you have to do is look up Mao uh, in Wikipedia and it will direct, it will direct you to, uh, it will give you a, another connection to the labor camps, incredible. So this man knew suffering and he knew it for a dozen years. She knew suffering and she knew who to talk to about it. She gained strength to keep the promise, strength to believe in the promise of God in Christ. Strength to believe in love. It is this spirit of love, the spirit of Jesus, who's coming upon the church we commemorate this weekend and who's coming upon the church in our time, we count on today and always. Let us now arise and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, and of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. He was again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he stood at the right hand of the Father. To come again to judge the living and the dead, and to come to have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, to confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, to the resurrection of the dead and the light of the world to come. Amen. Let us now present our prayers and our petitions to the Lord. For people of faith, filled with the Holy Spirit, may we proclaim the gospel message of Christ in word and action. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, our country, may peace and justice be known. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the victims of violence, those suffering from the coronavirus, and all suffering from natural disasters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that our hearts be open to give generously to the bishop's annual appeal to support its many ministries that help the people in our diocese. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, for caregivers, and those who are without medical help, and for the unborn, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from poverty, the concerns of the migrant, migrant population, and for our social workers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish family, our parish staff and volunteers, those requesting par- prayers, and for our beloved dead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Robert Zuniga, for whom this Mass is celebrated. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now ask the intercession of our dear Mother Mary as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thou, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. Pour out upon these gifts the blessing of your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for the whole world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those who made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came forth to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of their glory as they acclaim.
the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy, these gifts you have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took the bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of, his, of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Ambrose and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, 
give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, why did such enter under my roof? But only say the word and my soul shall be. If you are receiving communion, please remain standing in your pew. If you are not receiving communion, please be seated. 
the priest will come to you. Please keep your nose and mouth covered except when consuming the host. At this time, please remember the sacred host should only be received in the hand.
Thank you so much to the 135 parish families who have made a commitment to help grow God's kingdom in our parish, diocese, country, and world. Our total commitment to the Bishop's annual appeal so far is $45,531. Your gift will bring Christ to people and people to Christ in countless important ways. We are moving closer to our goal of 100% participation, but we can't make it without you. Fill out your pledge card and return it to the rectory office or in the Sunday collection as soon as possible. Currently, we are at 74% of our goal with 33% of our families responding. That is a great start. Now we need a strong finish to close out this campaign. Remember, no gift is too small or too large. Five parishes have already reached or exceeded their goal. Let's join this group. Many thanks to the crew that showed up on a warm, sunny Friday morning to work on the parish grounds. A lot has been accomplished, but there is still more to do. Contact the rectory or Father Albert for our next work day. We will follow our normal uh, uh, recess pr procedures. Please remain in your seat until Nusha releases your row. Uh, and please maintain social distancing as you exit the building. We ask that you not gather in groups outside. Thank you. Let us now arise and together we pray the prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, guardian and redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Let us pray. May these gifts we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same Spirit, whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are thinking of uh, wrapping up our bishop's annual appeal in the next three weeks. So I would like to encourage that we, 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 we try to join the parishes who have completed their, their goal. There are about five. And I think we can also jump in there. So let us join hands to finish the remaining only $15,000 and we are done. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down and pray for God's blessing. And the response will be, Amen. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith. And by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a wonderful evening.